precious people welcome back to the channel I'm Kelsey today's video I got a Dollar Tree look to share with you that frugal Jay had done the challenge and I asked her if I could join in so I finally finished and I'm getting the video out to you this week and this is the look I have come up with right here and I'm going to show you everything that I used from Dollar Tree for this whole outfit besides the pants the boy jeans are mine because um, Dollar Tree does not sell sell blue jeans or leggings or anything like that at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you each product, what I used and how I used it. So stay tuned in and I'm going to show you everything. Hi everybody. Y'all seen the begin the whole Dollar Tree outfit I had put together. Now I'm going to show you everything that I used from Dollar Tree to create this whole look right here. And first I'm going to show you the backpack. This is just a plain school backpack and what I did was take the I took these little fashion gems they're, they're DIY fashion gems and you can stick them on anything is what I used to stick on here and they're just an adhesive they got an adhesive that you just stick on there but if you want to make it more permanent then you got a super glue but I did not I just left it like that and now I'm going to show you everything else that everything else that I used I'm going to start with the shirt right here and I got this from Dollar Tree. It's just a tank like this is what I got. And I got the extra larges because that's all they had at my store. So that's what I used. And what I used was this pearl wrap right here to make, create this pattern. I just sewed it all in there. And I was going to, I was trying to make it across, but it did not come straight. But I love all the puckering that I did in it. I th thought it looked really good. And in the back, it's really... It's really big, guys. The shirt is. So what I did was use a ribbon. Let me find the ribbon. Sorry. I should have really just got all this out. Okay, there we go. I used this black ribbon to tie it up in the back at the top and the bottom is what I did. And I'm going to show you other ways to to even do the to like put like a jacket over it and stuff here in a minute when I show you the look again. But that's what I used was this plain black ribbon to tie it up in the back is what I did. And then for my shoes right here, oh gosh, I fell in love with the shoes. Like what, what I did with these shoes, sorry. These are just plain black flip flops and I also did the fashion gems with this and just stuck them on there. Is that not cute? I tried to find those slide shoes but I could not find them. Then I'm gonna, then I got these from Dollar Tree, these white earrings. They're just little disc earrings. And then I got this fashion clip from Dollar Tree. I love that rose and I got all the fashion clips in that. Then I then the bracelet, it was at, it's actually a hair tie, but I thought it was really cute. I was gonna make my own, but I decided to get this. I thought it was really pretty. But they had it came in purple and and pink and I chose the purple. Then then I I'm gonna show you all the makeup that I did right here. Okay, let's see where we begin. All right, first I'm gonna start with the foundation. I used the foundation, the BB Beauty in light. light. I, fi I found my color. So I don't use a beauty blender. I use my hands to <laughs> to put it on, but they got beauty, beauty blenders at Dollar Tree and makeup sponges if you prefer that. And this is not a Dollar Tree item. I couldn't find the powder in my color, but they do have powder. But this is what I used was the Cover Girl and the Clean Mat. And I got this at Dollar General. And then for my bronzer and my blush, uh, I got this at Dollar Tree, the Hard Candy. And in that duo, the bronzer and the blush is what I used. Then my highlighter, I used the Wet n Wild highlighter. And it's called You Glow Girl. And that's what I used on here. And, oh, I also used a concealer, too. And Dollar Tree does carry concealers, but I had my own, so I just used my own. And you can also get that at Dollar General, also. Then, for for my eyes, they they had, they had sell the eye palettes, but I already had this eye palette. I got this from Dollar Tree several years back. And this is what I used was this eye palette, and it is called Calm. What I, what I did first was use that to, like, prime my eyes and then I used the darker color right here to go right here to make that matte see 
to make that matte look. Then I used the hard candy I just got, and this is the Naturally Gorgeous. What I used was that one right there, and then I actually used a gold in there. Then I used that to highlight around my eyes, or was it this one? This one. This one was to highlight it around my eyes right in here. So that's what I used, and I used that brush, and I used my fingers too, and then I used this brush also. So I used multiple things for that on my eyeshadow. Then for the eyeliner, the eyeliner, oh my goodness, my eyes are watering a little bit. I don't think the liquid eyeliner is agreeing with me, but I got the Ellie Colors Liquid Eyeliner, and I'll, let me tell you guys, it was hard for me to work with this eyeliner because... I'm not used to it. I usually use the pencil or like the mechanical pencil. And yeah, I I heard that you had to work with that eyeliner and I didn't want to work at it. So I thought this would save me time, but it actually was a little bit harder And I thought. Oh, and I also used this makeup brush to do my bronzer and highlighter and my blush. And I would just like use like my little little silicone makeup thing to rub it off every time then for the the uh, mascara I used the lash renegade is what I used in that purple amethyst if y'all can see I'm gonna try to get hold on let me get closer to y'all that's what y'all can see and that's what I used was that then for and then I also used the um LA colors lip lipstick blush and eyeshadow brush i used actually a little bit of that pink in there for there if y'all can see that i used that pink right there and then i used it on my lids i thought this was really pretty this looks really pretty and really me i think so i found me a pretty pink color lipstick i really really it really like and then for my setting spray i used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. I got this a while back at Dollar Tree because I could not find the other little setting spray that they had. So I just used this and that's what I used as my setting spray. And this is the look I got. So this is my entire look. And I'm going to show you a full body size again. And and um everything that's on me. And just give me one second, guys. This is it everybody, my whole Dollar Tree look. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing this challenge so much and I plan on making this a series. I'm gonna try to do like different styles with the shirt to show y'all what different things you can do with Dollar Tree items. And also if you don't wanna use a backpack as a, as a purse or anything, you don't have to. But that's what I chose cause I got three babies. So there you go. If you want a little wristlet, use a little wristlet. You can do so many things with this outfit to change it up. Like, you can take that and put your keys and your your cards and money and and um, phone in there. Or you can just change it up so many. There's just so many things you can do. I couldn't find the purse I wanted. And then, here's the blush pink. I think that was really pretty. I can't really pick what's my favorite out of these, but I can also purchase these from Dollar Tree too. If you do, guys don't like a tank, what you can do is get a t-shirt from Dollar Tree. I got t-shirts from Dollar Tree, but this is one I've already had on hand. And I've had this for like a year or two. I made this myself. I just cut, it was a t-shirt and I just cut it in half and sewed it and put it together. And that's what I use it for is as a cover up. So there's you a cute little outfit to go out. If you want to go in a date in this, this would be great for a date, I think. And you can do just so many things with this. And I plan on making a, another part part to show you what else you can do with this shirt, like what different different light little cover-ups you can use and different bottoms and everything to finish this. And I plan on doing some more looks with this. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember, y'all are all precious to me and be kind, have courage and be kind, and let my life be the proof of his love. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I, I appreciate every single one of you. Bless you all. Bye.